You are about to see one of the finest takedowns on live television you have ever seen. This is an older clip of Douglas Murray debating a radical Muslim politician. The clip may be old, but it is still relevant today. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking out a video uh, by Douglas Murray titled Douglas Murray Shut Up Angry Muslim on Live TV after she defend Bin Laden. Wow. I believe this is going to be an interesting one. Let's start with the video. Go. Should Osama Bin Laden have been executed or arrested to face trial? Yasmin al Um, uh, He should have been uh, taken. He was unarmed. We know that. If he'd been armed <clears throat> and posing a real danger, I can see the point of doing what happened. Um, and I do understand those people who say at least they didn't throw bombs on on a, an entire compound and so on. I think it, it demeans an exemplary democracy and an exemplary president with whom I fell a little in love when he was elected. Uh, he's shown himself to be the ugly American. This is not good. He should have faced a trial. We did it for the Nazis. We say this is what we believe in, the rule of law. They, he's degraded American democracy and American democracy has been degrading itself, actually, through torture and rendition. So I'm really depressed about it. Douglas Murray? No, I couldn't disagree more. I'm elated by the death of Osama bin Laden. <laughs> as, as I think any decent person should be. Um, the, the issue of whether or not he was armed is, uh, I mean, obviously Yasmin is an expert in these kind of operations, but if you are one of the uh, military, he wasn't if you are one of them, if you, if you, I can continue, if you're done. one of the military personnel uh, in the compound, uh, in that situation, you don't know whether he's got a suicide vest, you don't know whether he's going to pull another bomb, and let's get on to the other issues. Firstly, this idea that he could be tried. How can you try Osama bin Laden? Where? When? How do you find a jury that doesn't have opinions about him? How do you find a judge? If anyone's been following the, tri the attempts to have a trial <clears throat> of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in New York, it's proving to be a very, very difficult process. Indeed, very nearly an impossible one, which is why President Obama has now gone to a military tribunal for that. I think, I, think, I think this doesn't demean America. It reminds people of who has been right in this conflict, who the victim is, and who the perpetrator is. She Osama did. bin Laden did not allow any of the 3,000 people in New York and Washington on 9-11 any rights. He took away every single right that any of the people in those powers or their families had. He didn't grant any rights to the families or the victims of the 7-7 subway and bus bombings, which he inspired. It went on and on, and it's a good right. thing that the story has now finished. It hasn't finished, All right. Douglas. All right. Wait a moment, everybody. Wait a, minute. We have a lot of people want to speak, mm. and we'll come to them in a moment. I think apart from Douglas, you've all forgotten who were the victims. Those people went to work on 9-11 and 7-7, and they've lost their lives. And for Yasmin to compare the, uh, yeah, uh, Osama bin Laden to the Nazis, you obviously don't know history, and you obviously don't know what it's like to, sub to, to have a victim, to be a victim, to be a child, to lose their parent. I was there. And I, lo I saw people lose uh, their, their fathers and their mothers, and only Douglas is representing them. Only he is saying what all us feel, all us victims feel. Well, we, uh, we survived 9-11, and I survived 7-7, and I'm proud to say that only Douglas is representing the views of us victims here. I've spent most of my early life fighting terrorism. I've lost friends. I've seen them die in front of me from terrorists. Please don't accuse me of being naive in this. I can just tell you that when you take force, you take it in support of the rule of law, not to overturn the rule of law. Can I just address the issue of whether or not it was an arrest of it, 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 was, it was military forces that were sent into that compound, and <coughs> soldiers are trained to fight, and they're trained to shoot and to kill. And if this had been a police operation, then we would have sent police in. America would have sent police in. Pakistan would have sent some police into the building. But it was Osama bin Laden. They knew it wasn't a police operation. It was an army operation. And in an army operation like that, it's very likely that shooting is going to occur, as it did from both sides, apparently, and that somebody's going to get killed. But I just want this absurdity 
of, of, of all the time of treating people who have broken every single aspect of the rule of law, who then, when they're killed, suddenly all of these people come out and say the rule of law must be applied to Osama bin Laden. We have to remember who the victim is and who the perpetrator in, right. is in this. Um, uh, uh, Unfortunately, he showed even less respect to all of those at 9-11 and elsewhere around the world. He didn't deserve any respect. Okay. He got what was you coming know, to no, him. I, I, Excuse me. Yes, just, all right. I, I'm sorry. We have to also remember that hundreds of thousands, nearly a million other people also died. You can't just keep talking about 9-11, okay? Lots of people have paid a price for this. And the rules of war say, and Paddy can, I don't know, confirm or didn't deny this, that even uh, when, when people are killed in battle, their bodies are given to families to bury properly. This did not happen. Right. He's no friend of mine, but they should have done that. That's ridiculous. Are you, are you saying that the, 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 the bodies should have been given back yeah. to the Bin Laden yeah, family? Which happens after wars. Bodies How would they find the rest of the Bin Laden family to give it to? Yes, yes, yes do you do you there really think do you do you really think yeah. that that course of action would have reduced the risk of further we acts of terrorism? We say we that are would more, have been an absurd. If we say uh, we are more civilized, take. then we have to act. And you, it's would have, you would have been putting it's thousands difficult. of people's lives at risk. What do you think is going to happen now? People A won't taken. believe he's dead. B and the lady's completely right. This wasn't done according to proper rights. It will just set off another generation. It was a respectful burial at sea. How do you know that? You, you said we don't know anything. How do you know that? <laughs> okay, the man, man in the pink shirt. Then I'm going to take another question, then we come back to the big one. Yes. Yeah, I think, um, I think Bin Laden has been let, let off the hook by this, actually. Um, I think if he was actually brought to trial and had to face real advocacy with a, with a rigorous court and, and, a, and a furious crowd outside, I think I know which one I'd rather have. I'd rather have a bullet rather than be uh, subjected <laughs> to that. Okay. 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 Let's hear the water I'd like to hear the view well, of I just, I just wanted, to, I wanted to say on this, I mean, President Bush in his memoir said that he approved of the waterboarding of three known terrorists at Guantanamo in the aftermath of 9-11, one of them being the mastermind of that man I mentioned earlier, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. Now, there's no doubt about it. This has damaged America's view in the world. I have no doubt about that. I don't think any of you do. Um, the extent of those so-called enhanced interrogation techniques has been massively exaggerated. Um, but if it did provide this information, then there is obviously a moral question that arises from that. Um, I just wanted to, to address the following. Yasmin says about, the, the, you know, we must show, as it were, our, our principles. We must show that we're better yeah. than them. We are better than Al-Qaeda. We don't have to show that, Yasmin. No, you uh, do. On, uh, in, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Yasmin, Yasmin, just wait a second. But the point is this, what Yasmin is doing, and what many people are doing at the moment, is holding America and our, and our allies to a, such a uniquely high standard that no society could ever live up to it. That even, that even the worst enemy of a society has to be buried according to the customs that they would want. You know, I can't raise it in me, uh, Yasmin, to think that whether or not the customs around his burial were perfect in your eyes is the most important thing in the Bin Laden story. Then you are as no, hold on, barbaric no, hold on. as them. Well, we're not yeah. as barbaric as no, You are as, as barbaric oh, Of course as we're not. What, because, because we don't yes. do the exact Islamic burial, we're as barbaric. No oh, it's as if we'd flown planes you're into no buildings. Better. This is you moral no relativism better. gone mad. It's but worse than moral relativism. It's an inversion of morality. You can't choose your morality. Bits. You can't choose bits of it. Yeah. Well, you do. I don't. You do, and, you decide, and you decide to apply moral norms to societies that you dislike, which you same, wouldn't apply to no, others. I have, I'm critical of all people who behave barbarically. Yeah, and some, worse, we are some not more better. than others, yes. No, yeah. it's some not worse true. Than others. Douglas Murray emphasizes the ethical dimension of granting bin Laden a trial. The essence of his argument is a call to recognize the gravity of bin Laden's crimes against humanity and the importance of swift justice. He posits that the rights of a mass murderer cannot be equated with those of his victims or their families who were denied any form of justice or mercy. This stance resonates with the sentiments of many terrorism experts and victims advocates who argue that the nature of terrorism targeting civilians to instill fear and advance political goals places it beyond the pale of conventional warfare and criminality, thereby necessitating a different response. Historically, the response to acts of terrorism has sparked debate among legal scholars, policymakers, and the public. The targeted killing of terrorists, 
especially those like bin Laden, who are considered combatants in an ongoing conflict, is supported by international law under the right of self-defense. This perspective is bolstered by the UN Security Council's resolutions in the wake of 9-11, which recognized the global threat posed by al-Qaeda and the necessity of a coordinated international response. Critics of Murray's view argue for the importance of upholding the rule of law and the principles of justice, even in cases involving terrorists. They contend that trials serve not only to punish the guilty, but also to document their crimes for history, providing a sense of closure for victims' families. However, Murray counters this by highlighting the unique threat posed by terrorism and the need for decisive action to protect civilian lives and national security. In essence, Douglas Murray's arguments in the debate underscore a broader conversation about how democratic societies should respond to terrorism. This discussion involves balancing the principles of justice and the rule of law with the imperative to protect citizens from those who operate outside the bounds of conventional morality and legality. Wow, what an interesting debate. You can tell this was really, really heated. And I, for one, I believe uh, in this debate, Jasmine was not, uh, Jasmine, she was not intellectually honest. I agree, to, I agree with her to some extent, but uh, just like the question asks that should be Laden, uh would have been uh should be laden would uh would have been arrested instead of uh being killed uh he should have been taken to the court and you know uh follow the uh, the judicial process they shouldn't have killed him and i think the question uh is a tr uh, it's a tricky question you can tell and i believe someone as dangerous as osama bin Laden. You don't have to uh, think twice before you make a decision. Uh, though Jasmine claimed that uh, Osama bin Laden was unharmed. And I, for one, I don't believe that, uh, someone, uh, that someone as Osama bin Laden, you can't tell me Osama bin Laden is unharmed. Probably you don't know if he has uh, a bomb uh, with him. You don't know if there are people, uh, if there are people, uh, that, 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 is, uh, that is securing him. You don't know that. So in order for you to say you want to go and arrest Osama Bin Laden, I think that that, that is uh, taking a risk because uh, you are also endangering the life, uh, the life of those you are, you are telling to go and arrest uh, Osama Bin Laden. Since uh, if Jasmine was to be uh, in position of the people uh, uh, that went, uh, you know, to uh, to assassinate uh, Osama bin Laden. If Jasmine was to be uh, in a, in that position, I don't think she would be willing to go and arrest uh, somebody as somebody that is as tough as dangerous as Osama bin Laden. I don't think Jasmine would be willing to go and arrest Osama bin Laden. Cause you going to uh, arrest Osama bin Laden, you are putting your life in danger. Cause everyone know how dangerous Osama bin Laden is. And I don't think arresting Osama bin Laden uh, would have been uh, the right choice. I don't think that would have been the right choice. At the point, uh, Osama bin Laden was even declared wanted, uh, was even declared wanted. And he perpetrated uh, a lot of crime. And because of him, a lot of people uh, lost their life. A lot of people uh, lost their loved ones. I, I, I believe Osama bin Laden never felt pity for those uh, that lost their life, he never felt pity for their family. He never felt pity for the uh, for the children that lost their parents. And I don't think why uh, 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 Jasmine is feeling uh, pity for what uh, is feeling pity for Osama bin Laden, considering the crime Osama bin Laden has uh, perpetrated in the 9/11, in the 7/7, and we can all tell by statistics that a lot of people lost their life in the. Uh, uh, lost their life in the 9-11, a lot of people lost their life in the 7-7. I don't think uh, people like that, I don't think uh, you can apprehend them without uh, without shooting. And just like Doug, uh, Douglas Murray stated that uh, even when uh, they tried to apprehend him, that there they, they, they was shooting from both sides, which indicates there are also people 
uh, working for Osama Bin Laden that 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 have been pos that have been strategically positioned in certain places that would have made uh, uh, that would have made arresting Osama Bin Laden be impossible. If you want to arrest somebody that is as dangerous as Osama Bin Laden, you are just endangering your life. At the end of the day, you end up losing your life. And Jasmine also uh, mentioned a point that the fact that uh, American uh, they didn't arrest Osama Bin Laden. Uh, instead, they killed him, and even when uh, he was killed, his body was not returned. Uh, his body was not returned to uh, was not returned to the family. That means uh, 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 America is doing the same thing the terrorists are doing. I don't think that is true. I don't think that is true. The terrorists are uh, they keep people without without any conscience. They keep people without thinking about. Uh, 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 the family of the people, and I don't think uh, America. We uh, I don't think uh, is a right thing for us to be comparing America to uh, uh to the uh, to Al Qaeda. I feel is uh is is a very a very bad statement from Jasmine, and I'm very glad uh uh Douglas Murray tried to educate her, tried to school her, tried to dismantle her by telling her the facts. There is no way you can arrest uh, someone that is as dangerous as Osama Bin Laden, and I don't, I don't really know why Jasmine is feeling pity for Osama Bin Laden, considering the, considering the crime, uh, considering the crime Osama Bin Laden have perpetrated, considering the fact that a lot of people lost their life just because of Osama Bin Laden. I don't know why Jasmine uh, is trying to, uh, uh, is trying to. Uh, defend, uh, trying to defend uh, Osama Bin Laden. I don't know why. I believe if she, if she have family members, brothers or sister or relative that lost their life uh, uh, in the 9/11, in the 7/7, I believe she won't. I believe she won't be. Uh, she won't be uh, saying what she's saying because I feel what she's saying is is really, uh, it's really very annoying. And this is what Douglas Murray is trying to address that. There is no way you can arrest someone that is as dangerous as Osama Bin Laden. You are endangering your life. And you are also endangering the life of the people that you are sending to go and arrest someone that is as dangerous as Osama Bin Laden without being harmed. And from Douglas Murray's point, they were shooting from both sides. So if someone is pointing a gun at you, or uh, 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 the person is shooting. Are you expecting those that went for the arrest to uh, to fold their hands and and wait uh, uh, and wait? Uh, uh, they should be shot. I don't think uh, that's the right thing. And I'm very glad Douglas Murray is very articulated. He's a man of honesty. He's a man of truth. He's not. Uh, he's not afraid of saying the truth, and he's not afraid of uh, 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 of stating his fact. And I believe. What Douglas Murray uh, said in this video is totally correct. I, I relate with him. There is no way you can arrest someone that is as dangerous as Osama Bin Laden. And to be precise, if uh, the government wanted to arrest Osama Bin Laden, they would have sent the, uh, the police force. They wouldn't, they wouldn't have sent uh, the military. They would have sent the police force. But they knew that the police force uh, would not be able to handle someone as uh, dangerous as Osama Bin Laden. That's why uh, they send the military. And I believe, uh, considering uh, the crime Osama Bin Laden have perpetrated, considering the fact that a lot of people lost their life, I don't think Jasmine should be uh, uh, should be trying to defend Osama Bin Laden or to be trying to bring the uh, the law of America uh, low to the level of comparing uh, American law uh, with Al Qaeda. I don't think it's right. And I've really learned a lot uh, just by listening to uh, Douglas Murray. We can all tell Douglas is someone that is very honest, is someone that is very sincere, is someone that always stands for the truth, is not afraid of stating the truth. I believe that's why she, he was able to school, able to educate, able to dismantle Jasmine in this debate. Wow. Keep the comments coming. Do you think Osama Bin Laden should have been arrested? Instead of being uh, uh, uh being uh, uh, killed, kindly keep the conversation rolling. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.